All right, y'all, we are back with some more of the Fat Electrician. It's been quite some time. It has been. Feels like forever. Not for me, but for us, together watching the Fat Electrician, 100%. It's been yeah. a while. Yeah. This is actually from the Fat Files. Uh, it's about Pablo Escobar's hippos that might cause the apocalypse. <laughs> just Dude, this story. So I know from just, just knowing about this story, knowing history behind it, it's intense. But I'm going to bite my tongue and let Nick tell the story because yeah, he I, is a storyteller. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, so that way I will go in fresh as well. Yeah. Before we get into it, uh, there's a few from Rec Nation, a few yes. reactions from a fat electrician from Rec Nation that uh, we might be, probably will be unvaulting soon. So keep an eye out for that. Yep. Without further ado, you ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. So I did a video last week over on my main channel, Band of Beavers, when America airdropped beavers into the woods to save the environment. And I was like, wow, that was a pretty funny video. I wonder if there's any other funny conservation stories. So I looked into it and yeah, <laughs> yeah, there are. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're talking about Pablo Escobar's cocaine hippos that are currently messing up the ecosystem in Colombia, threatening the entire Amazon rainforest, and that Colombia also can't get rid of because some court in the United States granted cocaine hippos personhood, which is potentially groundbreaking legal precedent. I... <laughs> yeah. Nicholas, did you get a beer vending machine? Maybe. Why? <laughs> For the home gym downstairs. <laughs> what home gym? Crandall Fitness sponsored the video and gave us a home gym. Well, we have a gym membership. Well, first of all, I want to be able to lift weights the way the Lord intended. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> what, what an asinine way to start a video. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Lift weights the way the Lord intended. Oh, oh God. That's, that's great. That's the best <laughs> excuse ever. Dude, his ads are uh, top tier. Yeah, they're worth keeping in yeah. the video. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> oh, God. That's disgusting. You should wear clothes. Wow. Home gym's already ruined. Anyways, Crandall Fitness, small <laughs> business based out of Texas. They have a couple of employees. It's ran by a husband and a wife that were mad during the pandemic that they couldn't go to the gym and they couldn't really afford any nice gym equipment. So they decided to design and have their own made so that normal people can afford fancy home gyms and not have to worry about their gym being closed. The equipment's high quality. I don't know. It's heavy. I pick it up. I put it down. It hasn't broken yet. What else more could you possibly want? Anyways, I'm going to have a link and a discount code <laughs> down below. Go check out Crandall Fitness. Let's get back to the video. All right, Hell from yeah. the top, Pablo Escobar. He's the number one drug kingpin of the 1980s, if not of all time. Under his reign, I guess you would call it, his cartel was responsible for about 80% of the cocaine globally, and they were making about $22 billion a year, of which Pablo Escobar was profiting $60 million a day to himself. Pablo Escobar was making so much money selling nose beer that he was actually listed as the seventh wealthiest man on the planet in Forbes for like a decade. And <laughs> I love that term, nose beer. <laughs> nose beer. That's uh but we did just break it down because I, I knew that about about Tio Escobar. You know, <laughs> like he was on Forbes. He was in Forbes. I was yeah. it's crazy. Sixty million dollars <laughs> a day. That man and, and that was in the eighties too. Like that's not modern times. That's oh, like no. the eighties. <laughs> For inflation, was that 120 million? Is that at least double, quadruple? Something like that, <laughs> at least. And it's hard to comprehend how much money that actually is, but to give you an idea, according to Pablo Escobar's son, when he was a little kid, they were camping one night and they didn't have any firewood, so Pablo Escobar burnt two million dollars in cash so that they could make some s'mores. Wow. I haven't had anything yet, so how can I have some more of nothing? You're killing me, small. Okay, this man was spending two thousand five hundred dollars a month on rubber bands 
to hold all of his hundred dollar bills together. That's how much money this guy was personally making. This guy made so much money selling nose torque that he didn't even have anything to buy anymore. So he just started spending all of his money on whatever he could get his hands on. By the time he was done, he owned 141 houses, 142 planes, 20 helicopters, and 32 yachts. I'm rich, yacht! And at some point along the spending extravaganza, he's like, I guess I'm just going to start collecting rare, wild, exotic animals because there's literally nothing else I can spend my money on. He had a rhino, he had an elephant, he had a giraffe, he had a bunch of exotic birds, and one of the things that he smuggled in was four baby hippos, one male and three females. And as those hippos grew and matured, Pablo Escobar may or he may not have fed people to them based on their ethnic background, or at least that's what the Netflix TV shows led me to believe. <laughs> Either way, fast forward to 1993, Escobar's compound gets raided, it all gets turned over to the Colombian government, and they have to figure out what to do with this entire zoo that this man has living in his private compound, and pretty much all of the animals get turned over to either zoos or sanctuaries. All of them, except for the four hippos, and I can hear the comment section already. Buh, that doesn't make any sense because if you can transport an elephant, why can't you transport a hippo? Buh. Okay, look, I understand your logic going into this. That's a big ass animal. That's a big ass animal. If you can move one, why can't you move the other? Simply put, it's because elephants and other large animals can be reasoned with. You know what I mean? You can roll up on an elephant and be like, hey, chief, proposal. How about I give you some peanuts and you get your big ass on the truck? And they're going to be like, okay, I'll walk my big goofy ass ears up on the truck for you. You can't reason with a hippo, all right? Hippos are territorial assholes that will kill you for no other reason than the fact that you got a little bit too close for their liking. They are the deadliest animal on the planet, responsible for killing over 500 people per year. Buh! But I still think they're kind of cute. Buh. Okay, first of all, no, it's... <laughs> uh, oh, man. Dude. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't F with the hippos man yeah yeah that's probably why it's hungry hippos and not hungry elephants yeah because they'll eat anything in their path god dude Whew. oh wow. man all right mm. people per year Buh! but i still think they're kind of cute but okay first of all no it's not objectively speaking it looks like voldemort fucked a grizzly bear okay <laughs> secondly there's nothing cute about this animal it's absolutely horrifying okay you're like oh it's chubby and it's cute no it's not chubby okay it is almost four thousand pounds of straight muscle and bone hippos are so dense they can't float okay are you picking up what i'm putting down right now hippos can't swim. Most people are probably hearing this for the first time. No, they sink to the bottom of the river and then they run along at the bottom of the river. And then when they get out of breath, they jump up, get a breath and sink back down again. Okay. And just so we're on the same page, 4,000 pounds is bigger than most cars. Like a Toyota Corolla is like 3,000 pounds. This is literally a semi aquatic muscle tank. That's got 12 to 18 inch stalactites for teeth that maxes out at 19 miles an hour on foot. Okay. It's absolutely horrifying. This animal is so unstoppable it has no natural predators you can make an argument that when they're a baby hippo they might get eaten up by alligators or lions and that does happen once in a while but even then there's accounts of alligators letting baby hippos chew on them like chew toys when they're teething because the alligators know at this point that if they hurt the baby hippos all the full-grown hippos are going to dismantle them once hippos reach maturity there's absolutely nothing that can kill them okay you can get on the internet and find videos of a pride of lions attacking a single full grown hippo like lions on the hippo's back biting it and the hippo's just walking towards the river completely unfazed because it's not even hurting him. The only thing that kind of regulates the hippo population in Africa is the dry season because once the rivers and the ponds dry up, the hippos can't survive. Okay, do you understand what I've just told you? This animal is so fucking gangster, the only <laughs> known predator it has is the dry season. Literally, the only thing capable of taking it out is mother nature with a natural phenomenon. Sorry, we're unhinged at this point, but my point... <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh just, just hearing him rant about hippos is just i, I never knew I, I, I never knew i needed that no i, <laughs> I needed either. someone ranting about hippos yeah oh yeah. man oh man was it jimmy john himself the head of jimmy john's that was poaching hippos or or elephants like that's the only thing i thought of was that could be the natural enemy yeah. of hippos is jimmy john himself <laughs> jimmy john himself maybe maybe but i think that's the only like that's the only thing that can kill hippos is us and mother nature <laughs> yeah so. yeah
just don't mess with that boss is mother nature with a natural phenomenon. Sorry, we're unhinged at this point, but my point is you're not getting the hippos on the truck to move them if they don't want to be moved and hippos don't want to be moved. They want to be left alone to do hippo things and that's what's going to happen. So all these Colombian special forces guys that broke in and raided Escobar's compound are like, I guess we're leaving the hippos here. And then over the course of the next couple years, either somebody just let the hippos out or the hippos broke out into a nearby river system and they've been living there ever since. Okay, now fast forward 30 years from 1993 to 2003, they know of 170 of these hippos and there could oh be more God. out there. So the hippo wow. population in Colombia is growing exponentially and it's estimated to reach a thousand hippos by 2030 if we don't do something about it. And this is an environmental disaster, not just because the hippos are dangerous to people, but because the hippos poop in the body of water that they reside in and their poop is so toxic that it creates this algae and these large cultures of algae start floating around the top of the water and this algae actually eats all the oxygen out of the water which kills off all the fish and not having fish kills off all the birds and it's fucking up the entire ecosystem in Colombia and there's nothing to stop it or even kind of slow it down because there's no dry season in Colombia which means that pretty much every hippo born in Colombia is living out its entire lifespan of roughly 50 years and every female female hippo gives birth to roughly seven other hippos and their population is going to continue to grow exponentially until some of them are forced to move into other areas of water and if those hippos make their way into the Amazon rainforest we're all fucked because the Amazon rainforest is one of if not the biggest ecosystems on earth that helps stabilize the climate of the entire planet because it stores 200 billion tons of carbon and if we mess up that ecosystem it can have planetary wide implications and who knows what's going to happen so clearly we got to get rid of these hippos right we're gonna have to cull and kill off all the hippos it's the only option it's not fair it sucks for the hippos but that's just what has to happen right apparently wrong in 2009 one of the hippos was being extremely aggressive towards fishermen and the army stepped in to kill this hippo before it started killing fishermen that were trying to feed their families and they posted a picture of this dead hippo that they had just killed named pepe on the internet and the planet had a fucking meltdown because the Colombian government was killing hippos. Now, obviously, when I say the entire planet, I'm being hyperbolic. And what I actually mean <laughs> is a bunch of self-righteous, entitled pricks. I mean, animal rights activists from <laughs> first world countries that don't actually know or understand anything about the environment or conservation as a whole. But they do know that it feels good to save animals in between sips of their Starbucks Frappuccino <laughs> by bitching at people on Twitter. So because... <laughs> Gotta love those virtue signalers. God. Golly, man. They claim to be for the environment, yet they don't get I, I, I it's don't get it's it. It. hippos don't belong in the Amazon. Like no. Never were there. They were never there. And they never supposed never were supposed to be there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Look at all the invasive species around the globe, man. Like, and how detrimental that shit is. Hippos are a lot bigger than most invasive species. Yeah. <sighs> could you imagine, like, could you fucking imagine the first person who saw a hippo in Colombia that, like, wasn't, you know, plugged in to what Escobar and his eccentric zoo were doing? You know, just a normal, everyday person just on the boat, going down a river. What the fuck is that bro yeah like what was that probably shit his pants <clears throat> yeah I, I swore it was a hippo like no there's no hippos in the like in colombia you know what i mean he would he would have gone back to his his time like bro swear to god saw hippo swear <laughs> to god saw hippo i, I just had a stroke he? yeah exactly there's no fucking hippos dude what the hell's going on man oh man oh a bunch of people whose opinions shouldn't even matter in the first place are going to be upset if Colombia kills these hippos. For the past 15 years, they've been trying to find a different alternative besides killing them in order to get rid of all these hippos. First thing they did, they tried to capture some, put them to sleep, and then neuter them. This is Bob Barker. Have your pet spayed or neutered. 
I'll just die already. It didn't, it didn't go that great. Like I said, it's 4,000 pounds of muscle. And if you didn't know, male hippos have internal genitalia, meaning that it's really hard to tell male from female. And it's also very hard to neuter them because you have to cut through 4,000 pounds of muscle to get to any of the genitalia in the first place. And then the hippos didn't have great outcomes as far as surviving the surgery and being released back into the wild. So next thing we could try, we could tranquilize the hippos. And then while they're asleep, we could transport them to a zoo or a sanctuary of some kind, right? That's a halfway decent idea if you don't think about it. I mean, what happens when you tranquilize a hippo? Well, where are the hippos? First of all, they're in the water. What happens when you tranquilize something? It falls asleep. What happens if a hippo falls asleep <laughs> in water? It sinks because they don't float and then they fucking drown and you can't get a 4,000 pound animal out of a river in time. So after like 10 years of trying alternative methods, 2020 rolls around and the Colombian government's just like, I mean, there's nothing else we can do. We're just going to have to cull and kill all these hippos. It's literally the only option without having planetary wide implications. So naturally, a bunch of animal rights activist groups got together in the U.S. and they sued the Colombian government because they were going to kill the hippos. But Saul, how can I sue these people in institutions? I have no grounds. Do me a favor. Let me answer that question in person. Better call Saul. During this court case, because the hippos have never set foot in the United States of America, they literally have nothing to do with the United States in any way whatsoever, and the United States legal system has no jurisdiction over it at all. The federal judge in this court case had to declare the hippos interested persons so that they could even hear the court case in the first place. But by doing that, this judge inadvertently basically admitted that hippos have personhood, which means that they have human rights. And with the way the US court works, once one court decides something, it sets a precedent and all the future court cases get to refer back to it all the time, which means hippos and potentially by extension, the entire animal kingdom could now have human rights. Anyone can be anything. <laughs> And let's be honest, if you've made it this far into one of my YouTube videos, I know exactly where your brain just went. You're like, holy shit, this means the hippos have the Second Amendment, and the only thing scarier than a hippo is a hippo with an AR-15. <laughs> hold on, hold on, I want to... I wanna... <laughs> This means the hippos that. have the Second Amendment, and the only thing scarier than a hippo is a hippo with an AR-15. And an AR-15. <laughs> I just had to put that oh, beautiful that... picture up on the screen. That's that's the picture, man. Make this game happen. Whatever, you know, I know it's an AI image, but still make that game right there happen and just just buy the uh buy the title of Hungry Hippos. Leave it, leave it with the hungry hippos with this. Make it <laughs> make this video game possible. Please, somebody. AR fifteen. You don't need an AR fifteen. Buy a shotgun. Yes, Joe Biden. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, oh god this comment section uh, is gonna be amazing uh, <laughs> damn and the other picture there oh dude oh my god this just what are we getting, doing this just keeps getting better and better or hippos with shotguns. I don't care. Hippos with guns are terrifying. Now, obviously that's ridiculous and silly and we're just joking around. However, what you should actually be concerned about is the potential that next time you accidentally like hit a deer with your car. Now your friendly neighborhood tree hugger environmentalist can take you to court and try to have charges pressed against you for vehicular manslaughter because oh. you didn't just accidentally hit a deer. You killed a person with your car because now animals aren't animals. They're people and people have human rights and it completely upends our entire understanding of how the law functions today. Thankfully, this is probably not going to end up happening. I read through a bunch of like actual lawyers and legal scholars analyzing this and their conclusion is that it's kind of a bullshit technicality and it shouldn't ever set a precedent. However, shouldn't still implies that it kind of sort of might one day, which is horrifying. But U.S. law and precedent aside, it's affecting the Colombian cocaine hippo situation because it's putting a ton of political pressure on the Colombian government. Now, in order to fully appreciate what is going on here, you really got to put yourself in the Colombian politician's shoes, right? On one hand, you've got an environmental disaster with potentially planet-altering implications that's being instigated by cocaine hippos from Pablo Escobar. And on the other hand, the United States, you know, the country whose military budget is literally twice the size of your nation's GDP, just came out of left field and they were like, oh, hey, by the way, 
the hippos in your country, no <laughs> other hippos and no other animal in the planet ever, for that matter, has ever been considered a human. But the cocaine hippos in your country, we consider them to be people now. And the Colombian government is like, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, if we cull these hippos to save the world, are you guys going to consider that a genocide? Or like, what's going to happen? You're going to put an embargo, yeah. quit doing business with us, wreck our entire economy over some hippos? what and that's pretty much where we're at today nobody really knows what's going on the colombian government doesn't really know what to do because everybody's too busy arguing about the moral and ethical dilemma of killing off hippos slash people while the hippos are in the background pooping all over the rivers and the ponds killing off all the fish and the birds destroying the ecosystems of colombia and potentially by extension in the future the entire amazon rainforest and nobody's doing anything about it i i feel like i'm in an episode of black mirror you know what i mean because Maybe I'm simple, maybe I'm stupid, maybe I'm just a horrible person and I don't see the value in all animals' lives in relation to saving the entire planet. However, I feel like the options are pretty simple. A, save the environment. B, give a fuck about the feelings of people that don't know what they're talking about because it will make them feel better if hippos don't die, even though they wouldn't know about it if they did. And somehow, the feelings of random people is winning while the clock is ticking down to an environmental catastrophe. Like the entire thing has made me lose so much faith in humanity. It's unbelievable Jesus. because I'm now absolutely certain that aliens could crash land on earth, like alien aliens, like from the movie alien, you know, not intelligent life forms. Their sole purpose is to run around and kill anything that's alive. Those things could crash land and start murdering everything. And I guarantee you there would be activist groups that were protesting to make it illegal to fight back against these aliens because they have a right to live too. I do not call yeah. them aliens because alien is a derogatory term for anything oh, that's so true even extraterrestrials that's where oh god you know i'm starting to lose my faith in humanity i really am i i'm starting to see through a lot of that virtue signaling bullshit now it's it's a tough sell you know if you were to you know if you were to to explain the the human cause to let's say an alien an extraterrestrial yeah. like why should we keep you around well you see but ah you got me you got me you got me i couldn't I, I, <laughs> that's a tough argument man yeah yeah <laughs> not every living being deserves to live well well, hear me out on this before they cut that up and use it against you, Spence. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm just saying, like, hippos. Just, just, they know what to do. But the world is not letting them do it. Yeah. You know, they shouldn't have posted anything. They should have just kept quiet, handled it. Ask for forgiveness. Yeah, and not Ask permission. Ask for forgiveness, not permission. I'm they I'm should. siding with the Colombian government on this yeah, one. Just fucking make them disappear secretly, and be like, I don't know what happened to them. Their numbers are dwindling. Yeah, yeah. Plus, it's the United States just kind of, yeah. you know, poking its nose in yeah. something that it shouldn't be. Yeah, the only Amazon we have is the, sh the shipping company. Yeah, like <laughs> that's it. Hippos aren't endangering Amazon. There, or or was it? And we ha we also have the Amazon Cafe, right? Amazon, whatever that is, we have at least one or two of them. So, <laughs> Rainforest that's only Cafe. Amazon. Yeah, Rainforest or whatever it is. <laughs> it's I I consider that Amazon. So <laughs> close enough, close enough. Oh man. Uh yeah, someone's gonna use that against me. But <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> that's your dress for president. Not all lives. It's all right. It's early. It's early. It's yeah. Okay, yeah. It's almost 11. <laughs> Damn people are at and it's the dumbest thing i've ever seen in my life now my personal opinion and this is going to show you how horrible of a person i am i don't think the colombian government should kill off all these hippos i really don't because that would cost the colombian taxpayers money and that's dumb the colombian government should issue tags and let a bunch of foreign rich wealthy hunters come in and kill hippos for a hundred thousand dollars a piece they'll pay money to fix the problem for you and then you can take all the millions of dollars that that would net colombia and put it back into preserving and helping the environment which has been damaged by these 
these hippos. But we're never ever gonna do that because that would make sense and making sense usually hurts people's feelings. So I guess this is just where we're at. I'm sorry, this video got way more angry and unhinged than I ever thought it would. So yeah, I guess in conclusion, this is a story about how Pablo Escobar, the drug kingpin, smuggled in four baby hippos into Colombia, and now generations later, all of the hippos are somehow considered people and they're gonna destroy the Amazon rainforest and nobody's gonna do anything about it because a bunch of self-righteous know-nothings think they're helping. Thanks for watching. Best way to support the video is go buy some merch over at thefatelectrician.com. Quack bang. Out. I need a fucking beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> 1,000. I thought you said we couldn't lift naked anymore. It's so much better this way. <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Good for him. Oh, man. man. I love him. He's the awesome. best. We, a new goal is to get on his unsubscribe podcast and oh you know, my just God. have him. Or maybe just have him on the channel just bullshitting around. Just bullshitting. That would be a glorious. Gippos destroying the environment because people don't want their feelings hurt that uh, uh, people get in in their their own way too much they do not uh, just it's very frustrating but uh, hey this is a great story freaking colombian hippos what i don't know man we're fucked as a society Dude, i don't i can't imagine that and it can be traced back to pablo escobar the hippos can be traced back to this dude. He's still yeah. messing up. He's still messing with Colombia. And if, <laughs> at some point, Pablo Escobar could end up being the reason the world suffers. Repercussions. Oh. He just because he had nothing else to spend his money on. Yep. See, guys, yeah. that's what happens if you wish for all the money in the world. Cocaine hippos. You bored? You buy hippos, and that's all she wrote. You ruin the world. Yep. Because of prosperity so don't be prosperous out there guys sit your butt down and eat your humble pie don't set those lofty goals just be good where you're at exactly <laughs> oh man anyway y'all thanks for watching consider subscribing watching another video put some more fat electrician vids in the comments yep. for us to check out and yep. what now dan unplug and do something legendary guys see y'all next time later <laughs>